As we continue to report, the stakes just felt higher and higher and higher. I mean, a couple months into reporting, we realized that we were looking at a real predator who had, I mean, there were allegations of abuse and harassment that stretched back decades. And as we started to piece together the story, we also weren't sure that we'd be able to publish it. I mean, there are very high standards for publishing a story like this at the New York Times in terms of people going on the record, in terms of making sure that you've got documents to back up allegations. And so we realized that if we were not able to publish this story, this predator would be able to go on and hurt more women. And that was something that was terrifying to us and also extremely motivating. And we felt like, and we also realized that we had to you know, we had to get everything absolutely right in, in this story. What was the case you could make that would um, perhaps motivate somebody to actually go on the record? And I told her that the case that I had made in my previous re reporting was, you know, I can't change what happened to you in the past, but if we work together and we publish the story, we might be able to protect other people. And in my experience, that idea, that hope that speaking out might help other women had often been the motivation that it took for these women to actually speak out. The response was almost immediate. Uh, you know, not only was Weinstein fired from his own company within a matter of days, but Jody and I started to be flooded with phone calls and emails from women with their own accounts of harassment and abuse, not just in Hollywood, not just with Weinstein, but across all industries. And soon there were so much incoming tips and so many incoming stories that we had to basically create a triage system in the newsroom. And soon almost every single department was picking up these stories and me Too became like this group journalism project, you know, across the United States and ultimately around the world. And to watch the Me Too hashtag take off as people just went straight to social media to talk about their experiences was incredible. I mean, I think it's a really uplifting movie. I think it's a really inspiring movie. I think to see the huge difference that a relatively small number of brave people can make when they decide to step forward and speak the truth is incredible. And I think it's also, you know, a wonderful depiction of journalism and, you know, the pursuit of truth and the power of truth telling.